Hello everybody, this is Yellow Demon Hurler, and welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. When we last left our heroine, we had um, cleared the uh, lava flows from Mount Horu, and we were about to enter this door. And I believe that the element of warmth uh, lies beyond here. Also, what our heroine does not know is that adoptive mother uh, Naru has been brought back to life. And I was wondering how on earth Gumo knew about that she had died in the first place. And then I realized he's been watching us since the very beginning of the game. Flashback time. Too bad I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna work. Ooh, the heck is that? So, I don't know whether to be comforted or creeped out. <laughs> I mean, he's a nice guy, but he was kind of in his golem phase at the time. But, um, enough of that. Let's get on with what may be the uh, concluding session of Ori in the Blind Forest. Let's see. Yep, that'll be the element of warmth up there. Yeah. No map here. So, am I going to have to run? Ooh. Of course she should. I figured a running segment would be... Ah! Ah! What's coming? Me! Ah! No! Um... Oh boy. Ooh, that was close. Ah! Um, ah, egg. A running segment is not the best thing to start this uh, session off on. I think I need to go up. Ah. No. Right. Ah. Ah. Ugh. Why can't we be friends? I didn't do anything to your egg. Ah! No! Okay. Pause here for just a moment. Um... No, she doesn't sound like a, uh owl at all. She 
sounds like a, um... Oh, I just realized I can adjust the angle on this. Ah. Ah, no, 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 no! Ah! Hey. Right, I'm learning, I'm learning! I'm getting back into the way of... Ah! ah. Whoa! How did she do that? I was in cover! Too close. Yeesh. Why do the element of warmth have to be outside the volcano anyway? Ah. Whew. Rest here for. Oh, can't rest here. Yeah. Okay. Bam. Ah. You do jump me for my own good. Ah. Big. Missed me by inches. Why exactly is this place catching on fire? Eh. New walls for a second. Up. Over. Eh. Um, let's see, so don't mess around going up this time, I don't think. Ah! Wait. Ah! Whoa! Okay, so, I need speed there. I really hope Ori doesn't remember all these deaths I put her through. Mm. Ah, no. Yeah. Right. No, nah, no. Nah. Yes, but not very, not a very long one. Yeah. Okay, safe down here. Why don't I just stay down here until she gets bored? Yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, Uh, 
Uh, uh, what do I do? Are there updrafts there I can ride? Why is this place suddenly catching on fire? No, no, no. Mm. Too many controls in this game. Too many things to fumble over. Uh, why is this rock catching on fire? Up. 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 Ah, no. Ah, stop it. Ah. See what I mean about fumbling over the controls? Ah. Ah. Okay, so I can't stay there very long, or the way becomes shut. Whoa! 
And now Ori falls again. Yeah, come on, kid. You're a tough kid. You can get up. In that case, we're doomed. <laughs> I would go... Ooh. Yeah, I was about to say... Ooh. I had a figure, I kind of figured that, uh, Naru would be here. You're not gonna do it, Kudo. You've been through this, you're not gonna do it to someone else. Where exactly did this forest fire come from? Light is toxic to these owl creatures. for a minute. That was a pretty savage attack she took. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Ori and the Blind Forest. 
Um, there are some things I really like about this game, and some things I really hate. Um, I mean, there's definite talent here. I mean, just look at this picture here. It's beautiful. The music is beautiful. And the sheer variety of abilities and puzzles to do is very good. I mean, things like Bash, uh, that's a very clever, um, very clever thing to do. But it's all kind of hampered by... I think it tries to do too much, um, especially in terms of the abilities, because it leaves that leaves the controls really clunky. You see me, you've seen me fumble over them a lot because I have to press down so many keys at once. Maybe that could be corrected. Maybe it would be work better with a controller. I'm not sure. I was playing with a mouse and keyboard, and the difficulty I think was a bit excessive at times, particularly in the um, uh, areas where we had to escape, the Jinso Tree, the Forlorn Ruins, uh, the Lava Run, and that final infuriating run from Kuro. Um, so it's really a mixed bag. I would absolutely adore this game. If, um, if they could fix those problems. Of course, this is not an early access game. It's finished. So, there's not much chance of that. But, hey, maybe if the game does well, it'll get a sequel. And, um, maybe they'll take the uh, issues that we have here and fix them. But, um... Final verdict, this game was worth playing. I like it. Most of the time. <laughs> but, um, if you're easily, um, easily frustrated, then you might want to think twice before getting this game for yourself. Because it, it can be quite infuriating. But, um, if you push through it, then I think it's pretty rewarding. And, um... Go for the secrets. I've only uh, unlocked about half of them, so there's still lots of stuff for you guys to find. I'm still confused about some things about the story, though. Um, well, I guess maybe not. It's still not entirely clear to me what happened to those outlets. Uh, but considering that... Uh, production babies, what the heck are those? Babies that people had during production? Hmm. Anyway, considering what happened to Kuro, maybe that makes sense. But, anyway... Uh, that's a sad picture to end on. Yeah. Well, oh, there we go. <laughs> right, this has been Ori and the Blind Forest. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey! I still don't know why this is called Ori and the Blind Forest.